Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I am mapping out and planning my wardrobe for summer. I like to do this with every major seasons change because it keeps me intentional with what I'm purchasing for my wardrobe for the foreseeable future and also it gives me like a sense of direction just in general with where I want to take my style. Sitting down to do this honestly is sort of like a game changer. Whenever I don't do this, I do end up with more mistake purchases. You know, every once in a while life just gets in the way and before you know it, like fall is here or spring is here or like whatever. But this time I'm sitting down doing it for summer. Just by virtue of really enjoying my wardrobe and then also having this channel, I do have a lot of pictures of my outfits. So I am gonna go through some of them and just basically go into what worked out for me and my wardrobe last year and also pick up on any clues of like what didn't so that I can intentionally focus on letting those things go and using that intention and money towards buying some things that will be better for my wardrobe. So yes, I'm doing that first and then I'm gonna get into what I'm planning on getting for my wardrobe and why. And I think there's something else which is worth mentioning which is that I am planning on leaving Zurich soon. I've been pondering this for for a really long time and going to London and also just going back home to Copenhagen usually my style would just really center around living here in Zurich but definitely some of those things or opinions I used to have they are changing just knowing that I'm going to live somewhere else so I think that's pretty interesting and also it will be apparent uh, throughout this video I think so just wanted to say that really quickly and then I think we're just gonna get into my summer wardrobe as is and what that means going forward so I started redoing my wardrobe completely back in 2020 and I pretty quickly got a hang of what I liked for fall and winter but it took me a while longer for summer. So I think partly because of that, it's taken me a really long time to get to a place where I'm comfortable with my summer wardrobe. But I think I've really gotten there. That said, I am still experimenting. I do also have things in my summer wardrobe, which I don't really like. I mean, to be honest, I also to a certain extent have that in my fall wardrobe. I think it's just because as you guys also like to remind me, especially those of you who are like a decade or two older than me, we will just constantly evolve. There's just no way around it really. And yeah, this, this video will also showcase that that is the case for me. So in terms of proof of concepts or outfit formulas that I like to call them, probably the biggest one that I have is that in the summer, I like to wear skirts. Then I also like to wear buttons ups and then I like to wear certain types uh, of tops and then in terms of jackets I usually go for blazers but recently I have also started adding some crop jackets I would say this has happened within the past year and those I now really enjoy as well to um, like mix up with my wardrobe when I first started like redoing my wardrobe I wanted to have all of my bags and all of my shoes in one color I went for black back then because that is what I wore uh, the majority of the time but quickly learned that black within a summer wardrobe at least for like the leather accessories it's not really something I'm into so I quickly switched to a tan or like a camel color as I usually like to call it so my shoes or like my Birkenstocks I have these like beautiful Birkenstocks with a gold buckle that I really love to wear and they can also really take a lot of wear and then I wear my Converse. These are actually really the only shoes I wear for summer unless I'm like going out then I have a pair of like nude heels I have a pair of black heels stuff like that but like everyday wear that's really all I have so going off of a proof of concept knowing how many other summer shoes I've had throughout the times that is what I'll continue to do I'll continue to wear these and then we'll also get into this later but like uh, with what I'm adding uh, it's gonna be in like that same both style but also color scheme and then just in general with my color scheme for, uh, for summer you know in winter I have a lot of uh, very dark colors and I do also have some for summer but I just find that I tend to reach for either, either blue pieces because they are made from denim or I reach for like uh, sand colored things my white things and just in general I, I like to keep the colors a bit lighter in the summer this just seems to be like a continuous proof of concept when I look on the uh, when I look at the outfits that I prefer wearing and as for example I have a couple of dresses in black which I also know that some of you guys really like I have the like Kubro linen cut piece which it's so beautiful it falls very nicely and it never really creases it will sort of like wrinkle itself out when it does and the same is true for sorry the battery just died 
Um, but yes, can't uh, wear a crop top if it's a mini skirt and then can only wear a crop top if it is like a midi skirt, for example. Then there are also a few other things I have played around with a little bit throughout the years and that is sort of like linen pants or also like linen shorts, stuff that I have been trying to get to work and I think I can just ease up on that a little bit. Like I don't think it's so important that I get that to work because I still have plenty of room to add things within my wardrobe which are pieces that are just like directly the type of pieces that I would wear all the time. So instead of like spreading myself thin, I'm gonna narrow my focus a little bit. But just in general, the takeaway, you know, that I've already uh, said, there's one more takeaway that I think I just uh, like to zone in on really quickly, which is that yes, a lot less black and then the pieces which are stereotypically black, I don't know if you can say it that way, but at least within my, my wardrobe, like for example, shoes and bags and also like a sweater. A really good example is this outfit right here, where I'm wearing like a, a brown cashmere sweater as well, hanging on my shoulders, where, you know, what would sometimes be black as part of my outfits instead of blacks are browns. I think that is a really good way to soften a look. And then of course, like depending on uh, who you are and what you your wardrobe looks like a lighter gray can also or like even a navy can also be that but for me I've just found that the brown is what softens the look in the way that I prefer but again it's not like black is completely out it's just some pieces are okay in black and some aren't and then depending on the exact weather because yeah I mean yeah it also depends on it on if it's in the evening or something because like this outfit right here that is like that is one of my most worn outfits of all time and like two years ago every time we would go out like I had a Franco we would go out all the time and I would literally wear this exact look every single time and yeah I, I didn't mind I just like to wear it a lot so now that we have talked about that going off of that I have made a list of just what I'm gonna focus on adding for the future and outside of just you know making room to add like another pair of summer sandals I have this exact pair of tan sandals that I've been eyeing I was also eyeing them last year I'll pop them up on the screen I might add these but it's not the first priority because I do have the Birkenstocks and yes I wear then only those when I need sandals like that but I think that's it's still I don't know it's uh, this priority thing of you know like what do I need the most and it's definitely like a, a need but uh, it's not like a yeah I have other things that I'm just more excited to add so another thing I'm also planning on wearing this summer which is a while if you've been here for a while or our trainers and I'm planning on jumping on the trend wagon with the Adidas Sampa you know every once in a while a trend pops up and you're gonna ignore it every once in a while you're gonna jump on it and sometimes you know you're there instantaneously and other times you're there with like when everyone else are already doing it and that's probably gonna be the thing for me and the Adidas like the Sambas and the Gazelles. I have a few colors also that I'm eyeing. I might end up with a baby blue one but I also I'm not quite sure. I actually don't know if these are leather or suede. Next time I go to Copenhagen I need to go into a store where like I can try them all on so that I can get a feel for like what might also be long-lasting within my wardrobe because I don't want to go ahead and like buy a pair of suede sneakers as the first thing because if I need to wear the trainers or like sneakers a lot then I will trash them and I am looking to now you know I used to be so minimal with everything and only have like one of everything and then wear only that until I could buy something else that's not really my vision anymore I would rather have uh, multiple slowly added good pieces so that I don't completely wear out one piece at once which is sort of like a shift in my mentality I will say you know I used to have one pair of jeans and then wear only, only that, one pair of sandals and wear only that. And I say used to, but I'm actually still there. It's just that now I am uh, slowly building myself out of that so that I have multiple different items or options within something that I really like instead of yeah building on adding things that are less essential just because I have none of that already. So outside of the trainers, something else I'm planning on getting is oversized blazers, which is fun because if you've been here for a while, I've been very against oversized blazers for a while, for my own wardrobe, of course. And I think it's because I've been taking quite, uh, you know, we've also talked about this many times, both uh, London, but especially Copenhagen has this very like cool girl-esque uh, part of the, the style or like thing to the style and I used to dress like that a lot. Now I sort of stopped doing that for a really long time and whenever I would add these like cool girl pieces, especially the blazers, I would add like a green or like a hot pink. But now I think what I'm gonna do is actually just I'm gonna find something that looks 
appropriate for like summer spring like something that is a blazer but that feels summery enough to me but that isn't like a tailor linen piece because I already have that and that's not what I'm looking for I'll, I'll pop up a picture of like the look I'm trying to go for and then you know planning on wearing these with uh, all my skirts and my tops you know because that seems to be like the proof of concept that I go for the vast majority of the time so why not work up a selection of pieces which will carry these outfit formulas for me and i think these oversized blazers are really good options for that so not to get too specific because we have a lot of things still to get through but one of the things that i've been eyeing is this danish brand oh i can sense you know you can just look at me smiling when I even mention them uh, mention them so maybe we'll talk about it a little bit more in another video especially if I get one of the blazers but it is this Danish brand outside of Mexico I thought about reading the DNA out loud to you but I'll link below and you can have a look yourself but the brand is called Halva it's definitely not like unknown at this point they're doing quite well for themselves but they have these pattern block blazers where I mean I'll just show you a picture and I would definitely like to get my hand of one of those the way I've understood it is that they are repurposing blazers that already exist so a lot of the time they won't have a lot of options for one design so you do need to need to sort of like sit ready to get what it is you're looking to get so I might do that at some point and then find something that is like summer appropriate as I mentioned but that's just one idea you know uh, I'm still super open and interested in getting these oversized blazers elsewhere then in terms of colors this is just next on my list so I'm just you know going uh, from one end to another in terms of color scheme like we're already talked about with the proof of concepts I am just gonna keep it light again this doesn't mean that I can't uh, add black things specifically actually black basic tops I find that this is sort of like one of the exceptions to the rule that I have that I really like to wear uh, in summer even though it is black but overall I'm gonna keep the colors lighter and then if I want to add something with like slightly more color to it, I might be interested in adding like some pastels, but of course that is still going to be appropriate for the, the color scheme that I already have. And then after that, I actually added cropped jackets, but I think that it, this is just something to keep in mind that now is something that I'm opening up to within my wardrobe because I've actually always, or like for a really long time, ever since I started re recreating my wardrobe the pieces that I like the most have been like slightly longer you know I like a blazer and then I also have like for example trench coats I have the leopard coat from Ghani but even with the leopard coat from Ghani I don't know that I'm gonna do this but I've actually considered taking it to a tailor and then actually have it turned into like a crop jacket but I also know crop is just in right now so it might be a mistake to do that I don't know you can let me know in the comments down below what you think of that idea but maybe just the better idea would be to keep the jacket as is and then leopard print is so in again that maybe they'll have like a crop jacket that I'm into but I am gonna not really focus on getting any crop jackets again it, it will sort of like depend on the weather whether or not this is the most appropriate fit for an outfit but I do have the short trench coat that I bought from Danish brand magazine you know so a lot of you won't be able to put your or get your hands on that but I do have a really really good option that I'm also gonna be linking to down below like I really have been using mine so much already through spring and then will continue to do so into the summer and then on top of that of course I also have my brown wool one from Sarah but it's not summer summer appropriate I will say and then I also have the black one from Sarah which I don't need crop jackets right now but it is now something that just it is a proof of concept if I get something like that I will probably wear it then I wanted to get into something that is on trend right now it's something that I've gotten quite a few dms on also because of what I've been sharing in the last videos and that is the pop of red uh, a pop of red is really trendy right now which also makes it really tempting for me you know I'm not immune to getting wanting to get what others have it's just human nature and I have tried on a couple of red things and I think it's really cute and like I mentioned on Instagram if I find something I really like I'll probably get it but I'm not planning on it I will only do so if I fall in love with something because I've never really liked a red I have tried out a couple of different red things like one of my bikinis that I wear when I'm at the lake is actually like a, a red like it's red and then every once in a while I'll wear red lipstick and then I also last year bought a red dress but it's too romantic so I'm planning on selling it anyway so I'm definitely open to getting red pieces but I'm not gonna like go out and do it for the sake of it I also think if I get like a red bag for example I think it's gonna I don't want to feature it enough as part of my outfits that I would actually wear it that much but what I have considered instead to just be a little bit more mindful of again I'm not completely against the concept but 
instead maybe find something in hot pink and also burgundy so that I could add a pop of burgundy or a pop of hot pink to my wardrobe. It's not as on trend, I totally get that, but it would be more aligned with what my style actually is. And at the end of the day, I've just find that, or I've just found that uh, that's the only thing that really survives. Of course, sometimes when you add a certain trend to your wardrobe, it will sort of like become an integral part of your style, but some of the things will just be trends. And I really think that the red would be that for me. I really doubt that it would be something that I then like adopt over time. I actually remember specifically, I'll find it and then put it up here because I have it on one of my Pinterest boards, but this particular outfit with like a white dress, a denim jacket, and I think she's wearing like a red scarf and red shoes. I don't really remember, but I'll pop it up here. I have it like burned into my brain because I think it's such a good look. But again, ultimately, sometimes you can think something looks good and you don't have to own it. You can accept that that looks good on someone else without trying to force it on you. Anyway, that's my entire thought process behind that, but we'll see how it goes. But yeah, if I go for something like a hot pink or a Bordeaux, there's a much bigger chance that I will be wearing it for the next five years and it will actually fit in with everything else that I own. So yeah. Then I am gonna focus on getting skirts. I'm gonna completely ignore shorts unless of course I run into like the shorts of my dreams <laughs> But you know, this is all about the intentions I set for my wardrobe and I am going to intentionally search for more Skirts to yeah, just you know build up the repertoire I have of skirts that I like to wear So right now I have the denim ones. I have also white denim one Then I have the burgundy leather skirt. I have the black ones, but that's actually sort of it and it would be nice to find something which is a little bit more summer uh, appropriate like ideally I could find like maybe a white skirt which is a little bit more flowy but this is something that used to be pretty popular in Denmark like quite a few years back like I remember some of my girlfriends like through high school and stuff like that they were wearing that but just because of like how it was made and also like the for me like the size of my hips it was never really the best look. So this is something that, yeah, it, this is something where it really has to be the exact right fit for this to fit within my wardrobe. Another good example of this exactly is the gray pleated skirt. It actually has a built-in short, but that I have from Danish brand Envy, uh, sorry, only. I've only worn it a couple of times because the light gray ultimately is just not my favorite color for my wardrobe, but this is an example of a pleated skirt that suits my body type very well because a lot of the time when I try a pleated skirt, because of like the shape and stuff, it just makes my hips look, it just looks not good. It just looks completely like disproportionate to my body. But you can get lucky, so I am gonna focus on just adding more skirts. But again, I'm not in a rush. It was way worse last year where I really only had the black skirt with the mini slit from And Other Stories that I enjoyed wearing. Now it's a little bit different. Now I have more to choose from, so you know, no Knowing how bad it has been and how much better it is, there's no point in rushing into adding skirts that I'm ultimately not gonna wear. So I can go a little bit slowly about this, but it's definitely an intention for my summer wardrobe. So yeah, I can make even more of these like uh, outfits or this make different types of outfits of that same outfit formula. And then I am going to focus on adding basics to my wardrobe. So I recently added this one, this um, asymmetrical one sleeve thing from End of the Stories. I'm so pleased with it. I'm so happy to have found something that I truly enjoy, which is not from Sarah and or, or H&M. And I think at least for me, Sarah tends to make a lot of things which are very aligned with my style. But then of course, for the most part, I don't get it because it is from Sarah. I I know what it, it, it will imply, but then every once in a while, of course, I go ahead and do it anyway. You guys also know that. But yes, I am going to focus on adding more basics. And the more you get something which will last, the less you are inclined to fill that gap here and now with something that won't. So the more I build my wardrobe out of, uh, of a things that last, the less I need something that doesn't. Or, you know, it's not like you need something that doesn't. It just happens to often be the things that are most accessible that you then end up filling that hole with. So I have a couple of brands uh, in mind which I can be like looking at. It's stuff like Abercrombie and then Free People as well. There are other brands that depending on where you're from they also offer some really great options for basics. That's something like Aritzia. But I've just found that even though I do have something like for example from Everlane, I just find that Everlane for the most part they have a too much of like an eco look for me. Not with every item obviously but for my basics, especially for summer, I like something that has a sleek feel 
feel. I don't like that eco cotton-esque look or feel. Another great option is also Reformation, but for what I'm adding this year, I just think that unless I run into something I really want, it's just not really the price point that I'm going for right now, to be totally honest. And then I found this really nice brand on Instagram. I'm gonna show you the screenshot, but I haven't gotten anything from there myself yet, so I can't really tell you anything. But just, this is exactly the look that I'm going for, and it seems to be performing really well for others. But yeah, again, I can't really give you my own opinion on that right now. But this is definitely something that's on the menu for me that I am planning on adding so that I can try that out. Because once I have, let's say, like seven, eight-ish basics to pick from, which doesn't like fall apart and wash, then I really am just not gonna be inclined to buy something here and now uh, because I need it here and now the same way that I have been, especially um, the last year. So yes, the overall outfit formula, I'm gonna throw it up here. It will be pictures of me. It will be pictures where I'm, from what I'm inspired by, and then maybe I'll also throw up a couple of pictures of like me wearing something like this throughout the years because this is just how I like to dress the vast majority of the time. Of course, there are other outfits I really like, you know, there are certain uh, type of outfits, outfits with like the new jeans, for example, or dress pants, but the outfit formula, especially then when it's summer, going again and again and again for me is mini skirt, fitted top, blazer. And then a boot is also really cool for spring and fall, like whenever it's cold enough, I love that. And then whenever it isn't, then, you know, another type of shoe will have to do. And then on top of that, you know, I am just gonna make room for like some fun and nice finds here and there. Like I mentioned earlier, like, you know, with a cropped a leopard jacket, you know, I am gonna try to be a little bit mindful with it because I do have things ultimately that I want to add to my wardrobe, but I am always open to just or now I would like to be open to just adding things not out of like necessity but because it's something really nice that like I like or I think it would add some value to my wardrobe or like to my personal style in other ways but then again like of course everything with uh, intention in form of like going into like fitting in with my entire wardrobe and my entire look so I would say overall my style is styling back down a little bit from this like very business-esque tailored which is still always from my point of view had a very like Scandinavian feel to it but I'm just opening up for something that's slightly more like cool again but still with intention you know it needs to be this balance which I feel like I'm truly starting to find which is appropriate for me you know where it's still like a little bit Zurich-esque and a little bit sleek but you know I can maybe wear trainers again and like an oversized blazer but maybe it doesn't need to be a bright green or bright pink every time you know so that is my intention, or those are my intentions for my wardrobe going forward for summer. I'm really excited to share with you what I actually end up wearing already. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a like so that I know and share with me below your favorite outfit formula if you want to, or like if you have anything that you're planning to get for summer for your wardrobe. Other than that, just yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.